Hi guys, we're out here at Fort DeSoto Campground. It's in the uh, western side of Florida, uh, about midway down the state in the St. Petersburg area. It's a nice county campground. Water all the way around, beautiful campsites. But anyways, main reason we're out here is to do a little AC battery test. Um, it's probably the one number one questions that we get when we're showing our trailer, in our videos, um, people are always asking, you know, how long will those batteries last with the AC going? Will it make it through a night? Will it make it through two nights? So we're gonna do a little test here. It was up to, we've had a heat advisory the past two days. Um, today, temperature, temperature got up to uh, 101.5. Temperature rose to 101.5 today. It's currently 88 degrees outside now at nine, almost 9.30 tonight. Humidity's at 70, almost 71% outside. And then inside the trailer, it got up to 102 degrees at just before four o'clock today. Um, that's with the trailer being open. We've had the, you know, the doors open, the screens over the doors. Um, when we started this test, at nine o'clock, 26 minutes ago, it was 93.6 degrees in here. And uh, that's when we started, right at nine o'clock, we started cranking the AC on. We got the AC running at absolute max, automatic, um, 62 degrees. It's running pretty much nonstop. It's already brought the temperature down inside here. In 26 minutes, it's brought the temperature down to 82 degrees, 82.3 degrees right now inside the trailer when we started at 93.6. So we're unplugged. Um, we start with the battery at 100%. It's knocked 8% of the battery off already in the 26 minutes. But it typically always does that when it's running hard and you drop the temperature down. Um, so we're gonna be in the trailer here for a little bit. I don't know if I will make it stay awake until it, it does its like first cycle to where it gets to temperature and then starts uh, cycling the fan up and down to, to hold that temperature, but we'll see. But so far, so good. It's uh, very steamy outside right now, and there's no way that we would be camping with, uh, you know, just the doors open, screens, screens on the doors, and our stargazer window open. It is just way too hot. Uh, temperature probably will only get down to probably 82, 83 degrees tonight with still the humidity being around 70%. So that's uh, a sweaty night. But we'll see how it goes. I'll give you updates kind of throughout the night, I think. Whenever I wake up, I'll uh, see where we're at um, as far as temperature and battery rating. And then we'll give you a, kind of a wrap up in the morning and uh, see how far they brought them down. Did we make it the whole night? We'll see. I'm pretty sure that we do. We've done this. Uh, maybe not quite this hot a night, but we've always had quite a bit of battery to spare. But just in case, we got an extension cord and we can plug in here at the campsite. So uh, we'll go from there. We'll check back in with you later. Thanks. I forgot to cover a couple other things. We do have the back hatch down. It was open most of the day, uh, letting you know the air circulate a little bit. Uh, but the hatch is down. We're sealed in the back, so there's no uh, air seepage out through our kitchen kitchen area. We also got the garage shut, of course, on the front of the trailer, so we're not losing any air out that way. We do not have any hot water in the water heater. We haven't run that at all, so there's no heat buildup there. Just wanted to cover a couple of those things because I know uh, those are some of the questions that people have asked too. You know, does it make make a difference if you you know keep hot water in your tank? Yes, it probably would because um, it's giving off some radiant heat. Right, right behind here, um, but we do have no hot water. We haven't turned it on at all today. No need to, <laughs> for sure. So yeah, just wanted to cover those things. So a couple other things I wanted to cover while we are starting off here. Right now, the AC, we also got a fridge, fridge running too. I wanted to cover that too. So we do have our fridge going. So that's drawing some power too. But right now with the AC running at max, it's pulling 38 amps of power. If it if it continued pulling 38 out, 38 amps, we'd only have 
three, three hours and 45, three minutes of um, juice left in the batteries. But once the temperature in here gets down to where it uh, needs to, you'll see the, the amperage drop uh, way down. And then it will cycle off and on uh, once it reaches temperature. So hopefully that start come, climbing back up as the AC starts cycling. Okay guys, it's uh, morning time now and uh, we ran the AC, maxed out the whole night long, made it all the way to just about 6.50, 6.45. This, is, this clock's behind about, um, it's actually 6.57, so about six minutes behind. But anyways, I ran it all the way to 6.45 before the low voltage uh, came on and kicked, and kicked the AC off. But um, again, it was completely maxed out, never adjusted temperature, had it at the lowest, it would go all night. So it lasted from 9 p.m. last night all the way to about 6.45 this morning. Um, but now we are out of battery. I just now plugged it back in. So we're charging at about 37, 38 amps right now. And it says we got about four hours and 42 minutes to charge back to full off of um, regular AC power. To start off the night, it ran full blast. Compressor never kicked off. The fan never dropped the speed from high, um, which is like five, down at all until about 10.45, about an hour and 45 minutes in um, is when it finally cycled off and the temperature had reached the 62 degrees that was on the AC that the AC was set at the lowest it would go. And it brought the uh, power down to about 70%. So it used about 30% of the battery life in that first hour and 45 minutes, hour and two hours, um, used about 30% of the battery life. From then on, it cycled uh, on and off through through the night, as, as did the fan. The fan would uh, cycle higher and lower as needed to keep that uh, its lowest temperature. Um, but yes, we made it from, at that point, about 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. till this morning, 6.45. It took it down to 7% on, on the battery th thing here before it kicked off as low voltage. So f from about 70% to 7%, that amount of power lasted from about 11 p.m. to just now. So that kind of wraps it up. Outside temperature at 6.00. 26 which is just before sunrise was still 84% I did a screenshot 84% at 81.4% humidity so it was it's quite humid out there humidity rose throughout the entire night inside humidity is 62.9% right now so it's about 20% uh, difference in humidity from outside to inside, which is, you know, still 62% humidity, but it's a world of difference from what it is outside. And right when the AC kicked off, it was at 68.9 degrees in here. So I wanted to do the max one because, you know, we normally would probably set it about 70 degrees or 72 degrees, um, but I know there's people out there say, oh, I can't sleep unless it's 68 or 67. So I'm like, oh, we're just gonna run it at its max all night long and see how long the battery lasts. So yeah, you can kind of vary your temperature off of how you like to sleep and what temperature you guys like to sleep at from there. I think that about wraps it up. If there's anything else that I think of, I'll uh, kick back on here and let you know about it. Thanks.